Welcome to the wonderful world of Strange Suspicion True Crime series. suspicion today we're shifting gears from true crime and we're going straight paranormal guys where we can visit the grave of one of the pioneers of the punk rock genre his name was robin de minor and we knew him as rob tyner that's right guys we are going straight to his grave trying to communicate see what the guy has to say and see if he wants to kick out the jams so please sit back relax and enjoy this video along with us so here please push that subscribe button we are almost at 5k we are so excited about that. If you have any suggestions for future locations, we're up for it, guys. Whether it's in Michigan or elsewhere, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section or send us an email at strangelysuspicious at gmail.com. We do answer every email. We do read every email and every comment. So let's get into this, guys. to see if you wanted to have a conversation with us. Hey, someone left him a harmonica. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Robin. Hey, Rob. Your name is Robin, like Batman and Robin? Is that your harmonica? Recalibrating. When I touched the harmonica, it said recalibrating. That's weird. Can you play the harmonica? Or make it move for us? We know your music. Bob's a big fan of yours. Yeah, I want to kick out the jams, dude. Yeah, let's kick out the jams. Come on. Jams out, motherfucker. Do you have anything you'd like to say to us? Oscar, there's a name right on that harmonica. Do you know somebody named Lee Oscar? You're pretty good, Rob. You feel pretty good? Because we got you in tune, dude. Kick out the jams. 
does look like a bottle cap. I know it does, right? Um, shaped like one. Is that what you wanted, Rob? A bottle cap? And ugly. ugly. Oh. My name is Rob China. I got a brand new record out on RNA tapes and CDs. And I got the ugliest pair of boots in the world. And That's I true, paid man. They are almost ugly. nothing for them. They are ugly, man. This is pretty cool. Look at you're buried. It looks like he's buried on a... I don't know. A slab and then a... He doesn't know if he wants to kick out the jams. Oh, you don't know if you want to kick out the jams? Come on. Kick on. I'm there. Cool, I'm here too with Weird Bob. You were... 46. 46. Pretty influential. You probably knew that though. I mean, I don't know after, it seemed like after you died, a you guys, your band got really famous, more famous. Yeah, anyway. you were the original singer though. Yeah. MC5, like one of the original punk, metal, doom, noise bands, my opinion. 18. 18. Huh. 18. Alice Cooper. Yeah, 18. We're here to speak to you. Said hello. Free. Free. Does the name Fred Smith mean anything to you? Fred Smith? I'd say maybe. Do you know where you're buried? No. Can you tell me an MC5 song through this microphonic app? Voodoo. I read, I read that you guys played at the Democratic. National Convention. How was that? How was playing at the National Democratic Convention? That had to be pretty insane. Did they treat you guys nicely? <laughs> Did they pay you well for that? Can you tell me? Did you have a heart problem or did you just have a sudden heart attack? Is it punk rock? They are basically enters of punk rock. Sweet. Uh, how do you feel about that? How, how, do, how do you feel to be the originals? Is that something you you liked or probably not? You probably just wanted to be a rock and roll band. Can you we say listen to you today the whole way here, right? Yeah. The only song I knew is Kick Out the Jams, but I like it. Can you say rock and roll? Yeah, you. Say rock and roll. Or say punk rock. Oh, were you sick? Was your heart infected?
Did you always have a heart problem or did it develop? Were you a heavy drinker? Yeah, you know, if you brought him drugs, yeah. Like, but I mean, you wanted to bring him drugs, you know, because it meant that you got to like chat with him. And it, and I mean, I really ever talked to him about the MC5. Find the truth. Did you die of Ooh. some drugs or something? Like, was it heaven? Is there a heaven? Are you in heaven? Are you and Wayne and Fred all in heaven, rocking out? This is not a reunion of the MC5. We're, we're just here to celebrate the work of the MC5 and celebrate these songs and, and these ideas, you know, and try to carry this message to uh, the, the generation today. You guys were a really great band. And you seemed like a really good person. Yeah, and it's 2024 and people know that song, Kick Out the Jams. It's a... Uh... A long time. Yeah. We just wanted to come here and pay our respects to you. Just to let you know that you aren't forgotten here. You're lost. Lost? We were lost. Yeah. We, we tried to find your grave. We tried to find your grave. We were lost for a second. This, this cemetery is absolutely the worst place to find. Do you hear music? I do hear music. What was that? I don't know. I still hear it. Here. Weird. There's nothing around us. You want to show that? I mean, there's cars, but... Yeah, but there's nothing. It almost sounded like it was coming from this grave. It was weird. That's creepy. <laughs> it was really weird. It sounded like it was. Are you playing music for us, Rob? To show us that you're here? Are you here with us? Hans Lange. Alone at night in the ballroom, I heard a mournful, eerie call, as though a tortured soul was sobbing deep inside the walls of my memories of the brandy. This one disturbed me most. I didn't believe the place was haunted till I heard the brandy go. This for Rob. Thanks for all the music, man. Thanks for the music, Rob.